We're headed for our warm up. Come follow us. I'm starting to do modified things. My back already feels better. Awesome. So I love it. I love it. I lost three pounds. Awesome. And she's been lifting weight, so that means she's adding muscle and shredding fat right there. So. What's your recipe? It's a chicken. I found it on Pinterest. It's a, it's a broth based soup with chicken, lime, jalapeno, so it gets that spice for metabolism. And you can top it with avocado for your healthy fat. I love so, it. So it's just vegetables, chicken, cilantro, lime. I felt stronger this week for my Greek training. I felt stronger like before I like die really fast. Like now I could like really do the lunges and I'm like, okay, I feel it a little bit easier. Yeah. So I felt like really strong on my legs and arms. I have to point out today, I've noticed every single one of your guys' forms were phenomenal. I didn't have to come around and correct anyone. I have, uh, my diet's not been on point, but I have felt stronger. I felt like I could get up off the ground easier with less like umph, like, like trying to, uh, you know, pull myself up. Um, I actually, after our workout last time, I actually did sprints on the way. Um, I, I like I jog for a little bit and walk for a little bit, jog for a little bit, walk for a little bit. So I did cardio afterwards. So I'm starting to you know pick up my, pick up my cardio a little bit more, and I, just, I feel better overall. I have listened from your guys' progression from day one until now. Something I'm noticing is when you're telling me your wins, I don't want to hear your faults. Last time I heard your guys' wins, three of you told me your faults. Three out of four. <laughs> now I heard only one. So when you find your wins. So stay into it, give yourself that reward, because you deserve it. Out don't balance it out. Okay. You don't need to balance it out. Okay. I'll work on the progression with me first. And then exactly. Work on the I want her to stay positive, okay. because the second that we turn negative, that's when we find ourselves in a spiral. So very good job, you guys, you. on your win. And we'll tap more into that on our very last day. If your glutes aren't strong, you can catch gluteal amnesia, or it's called, quote unquote, dead butt syndrome. It happens if your glutes forget how to activate properly. No one is immune to this condition, even if you work out frequently. The problem can be the result from sitting for prolonged periods of time. And other muscles compensate, leading to back pain, knee pain, hip problems, and a lack of progression in your fitness goals. The average American spends most of their day sitting rather than standing. Think about it. Sitting involves most of our commute, work day, meal time, entertainment, and the list goes on. Point is, we sit way too much. In fact, I bet you're sitting right now. So we're gonna stand up, and we're gonna read these tips for better gluteus maximus daily health. One, get up and move. Set a reminder to take small breaks to provide your body more blood throughout the day. Two, sit with better posture, chest up and your spine stacked. Think of allowing your spine to become elongated so you can rehydrate your discs. Try a stand-up desk. Amy, how's your stand-up desk going? I love it. Breathe and stretch. So set a reminder to do deep breathing exercises and stretches. As your Maximus with this glute building workout. So today is a very heavy lifting day as you notice. I have it already prepared for us. We have some really heavy lifting stuff today too. So we're really gonna be making sure that we're using the right angles and movements. Stacy's gonna do a modification. Um, so we will go ahead and demonstrate some of those for you. Modification for lunge is holding on to something. So bringing your foot nice and close and really extending that leg back, keeping a 90 degree form and everything. So weighted backwards ones or no weight for a modification. extensions. So if you're not able to do anything on the bench because we have Stacy with a hurt low back, what we're going to do instead is just these. Little pulse up at the top, okay? So that's what Bree was doing earlier because she had that low back. The next one after that is no weight on here. So you're going to put your hips right onto the edge. You're going to hold on. You're going to put your, your heels together and your knees go out and you're coming up and squeezing. You are not doing that. Why? Because that's all your back. So just to here, so you can feel your glutes, then go back down. For advanced, <laughs> weighted. So the girls that haven't tried that before,
before, it actually turns out it's one of their favorites. So don't be intimidated, you're gonna absolutely love it. We're headed for, We're headed for our warm up, come follow us. Nothing too fast. Keep a nice little jog. All right, now you're just sending love to the muscles, joints, lubricating everything. Getting that heart rate up. Getting the sweat in the back of the neck. So we're bending our knees and we're rolling down the hill. So that way we're protecting our knees and we're not slamming our feet into the ground. Big difference. Good. A little faster on this one. Hill runs are really, really good for glutes, by the way. So if you're doing a glute workout and you're, if you're able to go into like an incline treadmill or something, that would be a good one. So that was four. We got one more girl. Five hill runs. All right, this is your fastest one. Really get that booty up. Stacy, keep it nice and slow. You're gonna go into modified. Damn, girl, you got some, you got some speed. That Maximus helps you sprint. strong back through this whole thing. She's definitely tapping into the Maximus, squeezing up at the top and then coming all the way down. You can tell that it's not like her knees are going any higher than about just uh, right even with her hips. And that's where we want it. Good job, babe. I'll lift that up up. Woohoo! You're next. So then after that you have three hill sprints. All right, little mama. Good, bring those heels together. Perfect, bring those knees all the way down. And then bring those legs up, good, nice, good squeeze. Stacy's doing a modification over here for this one. Good. Good, perfect, nice, good, slow, squeeze up at the top for me. Beautiful job. Squeeze, good, a total of 10. Beautiful, great job. She's gonna try without the weight, so a modification here. She's gonna open her knees up, her heels come together. Beautiful, just drop your knees down to the ground and your feet go up. Beautiful, not into your low back, just all into your glutes, get a nice good squeeze right there, perfect, and then come back down. Good, so allowing your knees to come a little bit lower, beautiful, then come up. Awesome. Does that feel good? Yes. Okay. My little modification over here, she could go a bit advanced. I love when they progress. Great job, babe, those look great. So this is gonna strengthen her low back, so she's been having some low back injuries, and as she progresses and strengthens her glutes, she'll be able to have just a stronger core in general, and won't be missing out on any of her workouts because of it. That was only 10, you, I think you did way buck 10, so good job. You did extra credit. <laughs> So give me a nice good uh, little walk up the hill. Good. So this is our single leg kickbacks. What, you're, what we're doing here is we're making sure that our uh, wrists are right underneath our shoulders and that our hips are right up over our knees. We're gonna go into a kickback with like a nice good flexed foot. Come halfway down, go back up, and then all the way down. We have a total of 20 on one side. So all the way up, halfway, all the way up, down. Notice that I'm squeezing up at the top on each one of these. And down. Just right over the knees. Putting the weight into the back of the legs. We're going to go all the way up. And halfway down. All the way up. 
1.5. And down, uh-huh. So we're gonna have a good, nice, strong core through this whole thing, making sure that I don't see that back moving up and down. Good, all the way up. Halfway down, all the way up, and then all the way down. All right, let's see. I want them to see a modification on you really quick. So you're gonna come right here, put your knees here, and I want you to do with no weight. Good, so notice that Stacy is in a 90 degree with her leg, so she's doing it perfect. She's got a nice, good flat foot. She's going all the way up, halfway down, all the way up, and then all the way down. This nice, good, slow and controlled movement is when you're really gonna tap into that glute so you're really focusing on squeezing that muscle rather than just doing the movement. We could do this all day and not really be like tapping into that muscle, right? Good. So notice that Stacy's back is not moving. That shows me that her core is nice and tight. If I started to see her back kind of swaying in and out, that shows me that she's using her core to get through this movement. And she's not, she's doing it perfect. She's all in alignment, all the way from her shoulders, all the way down to her hip bone. How's that good? and then I'm gonna give you some weight, and then I'm gonna have you do 10 more on each side, so you'll end up with a total of 20 on each side. Yep. So we're gonna actually see Stacy use um, the band in the uh, kickback demonstration here. So if you do not have a dumbbell, and maybe you're at home, and you have the booty band, it's perfect for this exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and see her demonstrate this. So she was at first doing no weight, and now the next level she's gonna move into a band. Perfect. So all the way up, halfway, all the way up, and down. They're called 1.5 reps. Good. I'm just paying attention to her core and her breathing. As long as she's breathing and her core is tight, it looks good to me. All right, little mama, I'm gonna put you on some heavy duty stuff today. So after our hip backs, we're gonna go into hip thrusts or bridges. Hip thrusts are gonna be the advanced version, bridges are gonna be our beginner version. Um, so as far as hip thrust goes, what we're gonna do is we're going to sit underneath the bar, place the cushion right underneath our hips, Bend our knees so that when we go into a lifted position, we got a 90 degree angle on our legs. Um, this is a little higher than most, so um, I can even help put this on your back if you need to for today. You're gonna go ahead and press up. So you have this right up over your glutes is what we're looking for. So you're gonna come down and squeeze up and you're gonna definitely feel the maximus here. Get a good nice hold and come down and squeeze. You don't wanna come all the way down to the ground, that's pointless, you're losing the glutes there. So I would say about right here where I'm still feeling the glutes and popping up, right here. So Suzanne is gonna go ahead and demonstrate this, but now she's gonna do it with the band. So I'm gonna instruct her how to do this. It's gonna be a quick motion, one, two, three, put your upper back onto there. Um, so basically just your shoulder blades really touching this. You can do this onto a bench or um, you know anything that kind of has that incline. So we're gonna go ahead and drop down. Bring your knees in a little bit. And when you lift up, bring your knees out. Beautiful. Go down. Can I hold it? Good, yep, you can hold it. Come up and push your legs out. Beautiful. Down, bring your knees in a little bit more parallel. Come up and lift your legs out. Perfect. Give me a total of 10 of those. Really focus on your glutes here and squeeze. And we're gonna do you right onto this bench right here, so put your band on. And um, I'm gonna have you yeah, on the ground. Perfect. Go ahead and just get into position. I'm just gonna put it onto your hips. Beautiful, I probably want a lot more weight on our next round, but this will be a great, good demonstration. 
down, bring your knees in a little bit when you come down. So down, bring your knees in, come up and push your legs out against that band. Beautiful. Down and out. Beautiful. I love it. So this is our bridge modification. She's just going to put a weight onto her hip. She's going to come down. Her knees will kind of come a little parallel. When she comes up, she's going to really push against that band. Down and push. Good. That looks beautiful. Nice, good hold and squeeze. 10. Okay. If you want to do 20, that's fine. It's a little modification, but it's beautiful. This looks great. Yay! Suzanne, you got three sprints. Good work. How do these feel? Perfect. Good. Yeah. Not so good? Okay, good. So I'm not going to let you get away that easy, by the way. I'm going to let you come right over here, so wobble over here to me. I want you to try this one. I think what you're going to do is basically a deadlift. So you see that my glutes are down. Go into a deadlift. Walk it on up over her hips. Beautiful. Hold on. Does it feel even? Okay. Go down, and then come up, push that weight in. There you go. Down and squeeze. Give me 10. Perfect. So I'm starting to do modified things. My back already feels better. So awesome. I'm in love. I love it. So that was a one round. If you are a beginner, I would say probably two rounds. Um, definitely going to kick your butt. If you're advanced and you're really wanting that awesome, good, fun workout, three rounds is going to be pretty intense. So let's see what you can do. I'm quite jealous of their workout, so I'm going to jump into their round two right now. Tons of calories. You built muscle today. Your glutes are shaping. Now your lower back is going to get stronger, okay? Hamstrings, hips, knees, and everything are getting better. So I want you to put this in your workout routine. Day 10! 